we need to maintain the temperature of the evaporator in an air conditioning system at 40 degrees. The question is, how are we going to maintain it at 40 degrees? What do we have to do so that it stays at 40 degrees? Well, that is done by maintaining the pressure, the pressure inside of the evaporator at a specific pressure. We've got to maintain that at a specific pressure. That refrigerant has to boil at a specific pressure. If you remember, we made water boil at room temperature. How did we do that? By adjusting the pressure. We can make that water boil at just about any temperature we want by adjusting the pressure. Same thing we're going to do in the evaporator. Now we just have to figure out what pressure is it that we want. Now fortunately for us, some engineer, somebody that has designed this system has figured that out. They said, okay, I want the pressure to be this. They have figured that out for us. All we have to do is maintain that pressure. But now let me ask you, how do we know that we are at that pressure? We have to kind of think in reverse now. Before we were saying that if we control the pressure, we can control the temperature. But by looking at the temperature that we have, then we can figure out what that correct pressure is. For example, we're going to look at it later, but R22. If we're dealing with R22 and we want to maintain a 40 degree evaporator, the pressure needs to be right around 68.5. Normally, I just ran it off to 68. So we, that's the pressure that we want. We know that at 68, 68.5, it's going to boil at 40 degrees. But that's R22. If we were working with 110A. What temperature do we want? We still want 40 degrees. But what is that pressure? Well, when we look at what we call the PT chart, then we can see that at 40 degrees, for 10A, the pressure needs to be 118 PSIG. We're going to look at a PT chart in a minute. But I'm just telling you this, just so you understand that the boiling temperature in the evaporator is maintained by maintaining the pressure. 